of uh, peatlands throughout the northern hemisphere as well. And it's one of the few sedges that you can see flying from an airplane. <laughs> and uh, so, so we've gone beyond uh, drive-bys to, uh, to uh, flybys. However, uh, the reason for it is these prominent vegetative shoots that uh, have uh, filiform involute leaves and that means uh, basically shaped like old-fashioned eaves troughs, U-shaped. And these leaves just take absolutely forever to go about their business of coming to an end. And they just taper to a hair-like base, which later in the season, in another month or a month and a half, will dry back and die and become bright, uh, uh, straw colored or almost white and start curling like a like a pig's tail and those shiny tips growing over thousands of acres uh, give uh, a tremendously uh, uh, tremendous impact to the landscape so what is it uh, if you actually look at the flowering stem just like that you would immediately notice with minimal close examination that the perigenia are hairy. And you'd immediately say to yourself, ah, that's just like Pelita. And in fact, it is. This is a close cousin of Carex Pelita. This is Carex lasiocarpa. Lasiocarpa means hairy fruited. So, uh, uh, so it's a very distinctive uh, plant. Often, like many of the other marsh sedges, forming great stands with few or no fertile stems. So once again, this is a plant that you need to recognize in vegetative condition to, to be sure about.